Well, hello there, everybody. How's it going? Uh, welcome back. Uh, this is just an overnighter. I'm out here with my uh, dog today, uh, up here in one of my familiar spots. Uh, last time I came up here was around Thanksgiving, and I'm glad to see everything still the way I left it. Nothing looks like it's been disturbed at all, so pretty good time. I uh, just parked down the hill below and hiked in about a few hundred feet. Uh, this is my dog's first camping trip. So, and he just turned a year old, so I figure what better way to bring him out here and let him wander and see the smell the new smells to him because he's going crazy exploring the area right now. It's like all new and fascinating to him, so I'm, I'm glad. And I got uh, my backpack and uh, brought a steak up with me today, so. And I got a bunch of other stuff planned for the day, so stick around and hope you guys enjoy. Oh, so I'm getting my uh, camp set up finally. This is my giant sleeping bag. And... It's not a sleeping bag you obviously want to take backpacking. I mean, look at the size of this. Uh, this thing weighs 13 pounds. This is my Fairbanks, or I mean, my Field and Stream Fairbanks negative 20 uh, sleeping bag. Things heavy, but it is warm. I brought it out on my last trip for my uh, big winter trip, and it actually kept me pretty warm. Uh, my last problem was, is when I went to bed, was, well, my last night was that I knew it was going to get cold and my, uh, I wasn't thinking and I piled on too many layers and I ended up uh, sweating inside my sleeping bag. And when you start sweating, you start putting moisture in your bag and then all of a sudden you're sh uh, shivering in your sleeping bag. So it kind of ruined it. So, yeah, I'm uh, going to throw this in right now. And then I got a, a new air pad. Uh, it's my Calmid uh, Extra Large uh, air pad. And I got it at a Sportsman Expo. Uh, I think it's huge. It is comfortable and it compacts down really small. So. That'll be a great thing for uh, backpacking this summer. And that guy right there, he decided to go uh, when I, I had to tie him up because he decided to go wander about. Freaking animal. And it's his birthday. I was in a state of panic. Timber. This stuff's a lot more dense than the other tree that I just cut down. Oh. Oh. 
Bruce, go, go, okay. Go. And that's how you do timber. Back up. Now for the fun part, processing all this wood. I got four trees, all the same, or all aspens. Uh, some are better than others, so start uh, cutting this all down and turn it into a massive wood pile. Well, camp chores are officially done, practically. I uh, chopped up a bunch of firewood for like last hour. It is gorgeous out here, guys. The weather is just perfect. Oh. Brought to you by Bam Son, uh, Joe Robinette Bushcraft. If some of you out there haven't seen him, go see his channel. Uh, I've been a subscriber for probably over four years, and I really like uh, what he displays. I was kind of losing hope with the outdoor videos again, and I came across him, and yeah, I got swung back into it. And I found a whole new, uh, different type of videos. So, he sells these shirts, and I ended up buying one like a month ago. My dog is whining in the background because he's tied up because somebody doesn't know how to stay close to camp and go wandering off. I turned my back for like a second, and he is like, up the road or wandering so far that I can't see him anymore so he's not too happy that I had to tie him up and he was just sitting there staring at me it is though it is gorgeous out here I'm glad to be back uh so when we, uh, me and my friend uh, came up here to, in September, we called this place Camp Drunk. Why? Well, that was the camping trip. I didn't record anything. And uh, our focus was to come up here, do absolutely nothing besides sit by a fire, keep the fire going, enjoy camping, and just drink. We did that in September, and we did that for like three days. And that's also when uh, I try. I drove my truck up here, and I blew out my clutch line. So that's kind of the reason why I'm parked down below. Uh, so. It is spring, by the way. 
First day of spring pass just, uh, just past week. Hey! Calm down. No need for that. Sit. There you go. Good boy. And... I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah. So, it is spring, and... Sorry. <laughs> uh, spring was just on a Tuesday. It is Saturday. I was going to come up here yesterday, but it was very windy all day yesterday. And I just didn't want to camp in the wind. Uh, today and tomorrow, when I pack out, uh, are going to be really nice. So I figured I would have just pushed it back an extra day and I wanted to bring my puppy out here. Uh, I really like this area. Uh, it's got most of what I need. There's no water source nearby, so you got to really pack in some serious water. And yeah, it's kind of like the gist of it. And uh, not a lot of people come up here. I come up here. And I've been coming up here for probably the last five, six years. And coming back and knowing that my campsite was exactly the way I left it, like five months ago, six months ago. And all of a sudden, uh, nothing has really changed. So I was pretty glad the fire here the little bit of firewood I had left was still where I left it fire pit was still the same way it's like nobody has encamped up here which is excellent so yeah I'm just uh, hanging out munching on some chili cheese burritos trying to recuperate my energy I'm pretty uh, tired uh, Woke up early, came out here early, and kind of just been hanging out, uh, trying to get everything situated. And then at one moment, I had to go find him because he decided to wander so far that no matter how bad I was calling him, hey, he's still trying to adjust to the rope. I better go help him. First time I've ever done this, but I built me a cooking tripod. So that beam running across is uh, for my steak. Basically, I'm going to run my grill across that and I'm gonna slow cook my steak later today. And then I got some hot dogs for lunch. But I'll probably be starting the fire here in like half hour. Yeah, I didn't show it cause I was kinda skeptic about it. I wasn't sure. Doesn't look so bad. It holds. We bushcraft in a day.
So this is uh, just a chunk of fatwood I'm going to use to uh, start my fire. So basically what I'm going to do is, I don't know why I'm doing this on my plate. Just shaving it basically. I mean, you could take this whole piece right here, take your lighter and light it, but I want to shave it down. See? It's a nice little hairs. I cheated. I used the lighter. I couldn't get it to a light using my Fiero rod. So, I used a lighter, tossed it on some twigs, and there you go. Got me a campfire. I'll probably uh, cook some uh, hot dogs here soon. I'm getting pretty hungry. Chips aren't enough. You can hear the water just being released out of all this. Some of these twigs that I threw on there. Well, I never told anybody uh, what happened on my drive up here. Oh my god, scariest freaking moment. Uh, so as I'm entering the canyon to start my drive up towards this way, uh, there was a jeep coming down from the opposite lane. And what happened is his driver's side front tire just flew off and shot off across the other end of the road there was a van in front of me and it the, the he nailed the tire and then his whole front end of the car got all messed up and this jeep started swerving towards me so i cut off the road uh, like pretty far off and i just barely passed him missed the van and there's just debris everywhere like oh my gosh like i was terrified there's sparks flying like he's his jerk be uh, flying on his axle at that point. I thought he was gonna flip sideways and then just hit me. Like it, it was a little uh, terrifying on my way up here. Uh, and then this guy, this guy right here, he decides to uh, wander off. So I have him tied up with some paracord. And when we uh, got up here and I was pitching my tent, I took my eyes off him for a minute and he was gone. So I had to go look for him and the fact that every time I untie him, he decides to just go wander off in some crazy direction. And he goes way up the trail, so that is why he is tied up until he knows to stay close even when I call his name I'm still working with him he's a puppy and then when we go find firewood he stays near me but it's when I'm like sitting in camp like he decides to like go way into the trees and then all of a sudden disappears out of sight crazy dog Bruce you're a wild dog you know first camping trim and this is what we're already going for so yeah uh, that that was a pretty uh, terrifying moment. I thought that Jeep was going to hit me head on. I mean, I, if it did, I had my seatbelt on, but at the speed he was coming down, oh, it would have been bad. He would have been hurt or probably killed. So I'm just glad that I'm okay and I made it up here safe. And all I got to do is just hang out now. All my firewood's cut up 
I have nothing left to do. Uh, I ate lunch, had like three hot dogs, cooked them over the fire, no buns. And now I'm just watching this fire go. It's nice out here. A little, little breeze blows through here and there. But otherwise, it's, it's peaceful. It's peaceful. I like it. Alright. I made a... Made a pot, uh, or, yeah, made a hanger for my pot. Last some cord, and now let's go hanging on the tripod. Oh, if you look closely, I made a notch down at the bottom, so that way this thing can sit perfectly and not move around. Those are gunshots in the background. Look how perfect that sits. And then when I want to take it off, <coughs> I don't want to grab it by here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to swing it. And then when I don't need that, I just rest it right there. Perfect. I'm boiling hot dogs for a bit. Just trying to build a nice coal base now for my steak. Gonna start prepping the steak in 15 minutes. It is 6:30. It'll be so. Oh, before it gets dark, I want to eat. All right, it's time for the steak. So first things first is I'm going to throw some seasoning on there. I know that's a large jar for kind of uh, steak now. But this is some Famous Dave's Steak and Burger Seasoning. I love this stuff. Go. 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 You will get yours. Or gonna use the fork to spread it. Flip it. And pretty much do the same thing.
And there you have it. Let's put this bad boy on the fire. Cooking a stick out here over a campfire sure is a full-time job, you know. But in the end, it's totally worth it. Oh, look at that. Mm. Just getting all crazy just seeing it cook right now. And then got some water in the pot. And then my juicy steak, which I will give some to my dog. Go! Go lie down. Go lie down, buddy. I uh, probably cooked more than what I wanted, but oh well. Mixed it in. Delicious. Well, it's about eight o'clock now and uh, the steak was awesome. I thought I might have overcooked it, but it was actually perfect. It was still uh, like, uh, I would still say medium rare. It's still kind of entirely pink. A little crisp on the outside, but oh my gosh. I gave some to my dog. He's all passed out right now. Oh, well, it's getting dark. Uh, I tried to uh, rig up this lantern, hoping that maybe it might have uh, illuminated uh, more light. And you might be able to see me better at night. And then plus a nice raging fire. No, oh, it's nice. I'm happy. I feel good. Also gotta have some Mountain Dew ice. This camping trip is brought to you by ice. It's that cold.
Yeah, he finally discovered where the sleeping bag was. And I could tell he's been, like, pantsing around, trying to find somewhere uh, comfy to lie down on. And that sleeping bag is just comfy as heck. It's so poofy. So I guided him in there, and he lied down, and he's out. So let him be. It's better than him wandering around all crazy, especially in the dark. Definitely don't need that. Uh, yeah. It's nice. It's nice. Clouds are starting to pull away, so maybe I might see some stars, but not a full sky of stars, unfortunately. It's kind of hoping for such things, but it is what it is. Uh, uh, yeah. I'm pretty tired guys it's about nine o'clock now so I don't want to stay up until about 10 so I'm gonna try if not 9 30 it's earliest the dog sleeping is making me want to sleep that's nice I'm sitting here next to the campfire oh stars I got a little bit of a moon popping out. That's about it. Ah, go away, smoke. But otherwise, yeah. Uh, I could be, could be bed soon. Alright, I'm in my tent, in my big old comfy sleeping bag. Let's see. So black. And then you got Bruce. He's trying to stay as snug to me as possible. But. Yeah, uh, I'm getting ready for bed. I mean, I'm tired. Uh, it's 9.30. Put out the fire and I'm here. I had to kick him off my spot. Change into clothes and... Yep, see you guys in the morning. Night. Ah, morning. Uh, it's almost 8 o'clock. Uh, I don't want to get out. I'm so comfortable and warm right now. This sleeping bag and sleeping pad and heavy duty pillow is awesome. And this guy down at the end over there. I don't know if you can see him. Uh, he kept my feet warm. Which is a little too much. But we're gonna get out of the tent. Oh, I drooled off. Alright guys, I'm packed up. I'm ready to go. Thanks again for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And like always, have a good one. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye bye.